so in this video shows a short introduction about the hardware core simulation using matlab and fpga so before start simulating you just ensure whether the system generator is configured properly to use with the signing ip blocks so first of all change your current directory to the project files you are having so so uh, here d dot dot uh, this is the folder which uh, which i have been created to create my files then start the same library simulating library browser that has been opened by click this icon simulink then you will get a new library browser like that in that you are you will having you will be having Xilinx blocks and then Xilinx reference blocks and then in the stream we speak it so these three blocks are necessary for working with the FPGAs so in the Xilinx blocks that you are having uh, some basic elements and communication control logic and ESP data type so this all these blocks which are uh, used to, uh, which are all uh, different types of IP IPs and that can be used for various operations so in that we need system generator then uh, gateway in gateway out so these three blocks are necessary for the proper op communication between your fpj board as well as your uh, matlab environment so uh, first uh, start with a new model then after clicking this icon you will get a empty window so this is the window that we have uh, we, uh, we are not we needed to start the and that means we need to uh, design our uh, design the project so first save this model in that you will get a you, know, <coughs> you will get a pop-up window then in that type the name of your model that means some tutorial here then after that I right click and add to tutorial system generator then click this icon then take this gateway into the tutorial and I'll do the same thing for gateway out to so this gateway in gateway out so uh, these two blocks are necessary because uh, these two blocks which will actually uh, make the communication path between your hardware as well as the software so that's why we need this gateway in gateway out actually uh, this gateway in is a uh, uh, needed for, uh, uh, for for getting the input in a CD format and it will uh, given to the processing element in terms of uh, either any hardware blocks and then it will again the hardware which will send out the signal to the gateway out uh, serially so the system generator token which will act as a top module for the entire project so um, uh, here I am using a predefined IP blocks for example some constant delay so we are having a math math block in that I am having add and support add to tutorial so now I am connecting these two blocks so before that I have to take the some basic blocks from the source and things actually the source from which will give the constant to my model that will input to the model then get the in then again copy that block and actually i am doing the same thing here too and here and i am connecting these two blocks gateway out then the thing which uh, display my output so i am connecting this lock to here so that's how so this is the basic small sample model i have been created to add two elements so now we have to do some necessary changes to this box to add these elements actually if you are communicating with this one 
I'll change this one at the gateway again and here it's a fixer point and sign into scrum i have been changing this on to unsigned and number of bits is 16 bit and here i am changing to zero and this is a 8 bit value so the maximum value will be 8 bit means the value will be up to 255 it will be 1111 so that value I have been given here as a 255 and here also I have been changed this value into 255 and here <coughs> addition so here it, we don't want to change the output then if you are running means then once again save it and run the tutorial so the circuit will be initializing and uh, if the system generator is configured properly means it will show the synthesizing command so after completing the element we will see the output at the display so here 255 and 255 the value will be 257 so here what we have done wrong means actually here we are using a 16 bit and here it's a time assigned to score and that's why the value is showing a wrong on that value display which show the wrong answer so here also i have been changing the value into number of which is 16 and binary point is in zero no and, uh, and so now it shows the correct answer so this is why this is the settings we have to ensure whether the input and outputs are correctly configured <coughs> so make sure of that so next we are going to see how we can implement our own coding using black box approach so uh, here what we uh, actually did means uh, we are using uh, some predefined ip blocks that has been already uh, already designed uh, by uh, Zyling so that we are instantiated with the model but instead of that what I have to do in means now I am going to use a black box for this approach uh, to instant my, instantiate my own module so for that what I have to do means first of all I am creating a new verilog document uh, so here the same adder has been designed with so Erlang in terms of Erlang as module and coming come on some come on carry input so next to zero a comma b then output so next to zero sum then output carry then assign some assign some come on sorry assign carry come on some equal to a plus b end module now i am saving this log file into here as other dot so now 
I am in instantiating this model inside the MATLAB. So, similar like Brain Browser. In that, I am having a basic elements. Under basic elements, we are having black box. So, choose that one and add that to the tutorial and uh, one pop-up window will appear in that we have to select the particular verlog or VHD file that have been generated by ourselves so open that one so after the completion it will create a sum and carry port so if it has been created then we are able to use that uh, value Take that one and I am using the same thing that means I am connecting the constant blocks and some A and B and some and carry and gateway out and then some and check the copy that blocks now connect those blocks now we are able to see the simulation so here we are having a problem with that because uh, the input that we have been designed and here is a width of 8 right? And I will put a with 8 but <coughs> and here what you have to do is channel the ISC simulator then choose that one and uh, here the inputs are 8 bit wide but here what you have chosen means it's a 16 bit so you just change the value into 8 bit and uh, click ok similarly choose the another port and the same do the same for the second port too and here what we have did means here the value will be 255 and here also 255 the input will be uh, 8 bit wide that's what we are uh, we are changing the gateway in and gateway in one port so now the output will be displaying after uh, Checking the module. So now we are seeing that 254 and here the output carry one will be generated across this gateway out. So if we change the value here into 10 and the output will be and actually here what we are and did in the coding events actually we separately extract the output so check this value so whatever the coding I am changing here means that will reflect in the output side too so better what we have to do means uh, add a carry input a plus b and instead of carry change that value into sum and change this bit into 8 bit and come on this value now assign the sum into this one and change the coding like that now check this value now 
now if i want to change the code means what i have to do means i have to clearly delete that entire block and uh, on the m5 that i have been created once we have instantiated a new model that is add and configure so delete that corresponding file to instantiate a new module so uh, search for that module and choose that add and underscore configure so delete that m file now again and drag that corresponding block box or and select the add dot v module and now we are seeing that uh, you are having a uh, only two ports and only one output port that's a uh, sum so choose that one and check this one now we are having a gateway in gateway in one so both are 8 bit wide and you are having a, a sum output that's a 9 bit wide so now if i am doing the simulation it will won't it will because uh, whenever the model gets instantiated so uh, we have to change the simulation mode into isc simulator and now perform the simulation and the simulation will be working the simulation will be working through ISC simulator and now we are getting our output as a 255 plus 10 so 265 so now the model is working correctly so this is the way we are using the simulation uh, that with MATLAB and to inter in integrate our own module to verify the functionality of the corresponding very other VHD source code So this is the way to instantiate our uh, own module uh, uh, own module inside the MATLAB environment to verify the functionality and uh, here what is the output we are getting the same output we are also getting in the uh, FPGA code so there is no difference in the simulation number and uh, FPGA in the, in the only thing here is uh, we have to take in care of this uh, yeah, taken, uh, taken care of means uh, that uh, the input that we have been uh, given in uh, which format that means the binary and if it is a floating point means floating point and fixed point, uh, fixed point means fixed point and, and the corresponding uh, uh, with the, uh, so those things we have to take care of uh, to for the necessary operation of the corresponding module so thank you very much